พื่อที่ใส่Because he, he appreciated the sportsmanship from Mark King. He could have got away with it, but he immediately owned up, and it could cost Nine. him the frame. Well, as you rightly said, you know that could actually have made a huge difference to not only the frame but the match. That uh, incident with Mark King, his feather in the cue ball, and it's given O'Sullivan this chance. He put himself back into the frame, but it could go a lot further here. Four reds in the middle of the table are not easy to get on. It's going to be on to the other red, and then his next colour. Applying to the middle bag as well. It's one of those. When you see four reds in that kind of formation. There's got to be some kind of a chance to make something happen. He's playing the pink, maybe the disturbed one. That's a fine shot. Oh, that was what he was looking at. It wasn't the plant at all. I do slightly question O'Sullivan's concentration these days. Occasionally. Seems to me he's got eyes everywhere but on his own table. Now we've already discussed that it can happen at this venue, but I do sometimes think that he's not entirely focused on his own game. He, that time he was looking up at the scoreboard, and he knows that 26 points in front now that that red's 55. down. So. I think this is almost the first real sign in the match day that it's time to get into his, uh, his full swing. But he's played a good frame and Mark King was nicely in. These could have been his, but he owned up to a foul nobody saw. And it's cost him. Well, it should have done. It's 40 in it. Ronnie O'Sullivan looking again at the scores. And Mark King... Nods his head. You've got to credit Mark King for, but it has cost him. Ronnie O'Sullivan stepped in with a good break of 69. That's played very well. Left hand side, check side on that, and the side was there to stop the cue ball going in or towards the bunch. Not an easy one here, though. With sublime confidence once again. He looks oh. to be getting stronger in this match. Well, that's a good shot. Wow. And uh, if this was 5 1, just get the feeling the match has been a little closer than that. And the frame's not over yet. He's played that really well. Sounds in there. 87. Well, he sort of bullied the pink into the pocket in the end there, didn't he? Hard to keep the break going now, though. Yes, it's not a century, but a good 93. 93. He took those really well. Ronnie O'Sullivan is still a frame from victory, but he's now leading Mark King by four frames to two. One. The issues with Mark King knocking those in. That was beautifully struck. Seven. 
And they've been sliding in off that far jaw, I think, all day. This one on a different day, maybe a slightly older cloth might have stayed up. But on day one, they drop. Fine shot, and uh, I think he's on a red. Ten. Now, what's Ronnie's long game like? We're going to find out here. Well, we're going to find out because actually he didn't go for it, which tells me maybe he's not all that confident at long range. Because there were times in his career when I can't imagine he would refuse that. One. I think there's absolute proof of the point that he's made, though. Beautifully struck. The shot is to go into the bunch. He's there. Well, he's played it really well. I mean, that is a proper split. In fact, he's blocked all the reds to the right corner. That's another very fine recovery. Seven. Getting up and down from the blue is not so difficult with the green and brown away from their spots. Pretty simple path up and down. Twelve. Thirteen. Twenty-one. At some point, Mark will think differently about this match, whether the pressure will start to come back on him. Yes, we're not in a decider next, but if we are, it's always interesting if the player's been a long way behind, because with the decider, it's the first chance they have to win. Connecting's knocked it in, it's 4-1 to Ford. Well, for once, the little nudge into the pack of reds has not worked out. And it's hard to see where the next red is coming from in this break. I think something rare like this is so easy to play one shot too many, trying to keep the break going. Knocking 40. Well, never, after all that weight, he could have actually played it better. Sitting watching for a long time. One. Something like half an hour of play. He's hardly seen a ball, and then he knocks in that one. Great shot. Well, that shot on the yo was as good as the red. Left handed screwing it across like that. What a shot. What a shot for a natural left hander, never mind a, a right hander. Four. Eleven. Twelve. Well, he's got to play with pace around the angles here. Oh, this cue ball is stopping short of where he intended. It's not bad, but a little bit of pace on it. He'd have been nicely on a red. A little bit of frustration there. That was always going to be a difficult Running shot to keep seven. the break going. But I think Ronnie felt obliged to try and do so. It's always a slight concern when you hit those thick, but the cue ball is heading into pretty good place, and that has worked out nicely for Ronnie. As we're saying, he's a few behind, but after that last shot, he may even be favourite to win it. And it's such a difficult shot to play. It's not the worst effort. Difficult shot this now for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Again, one I don't see how he can refuse. So, 
and not a good kiss. One. It can hardly be any worse. Big shot this if he plays the yellow. Having missed a few with the rest, the pressure's on. Oh, what a shot. Again. He would have known that he's just a couple, I'm sure, because that is something a player will think about. I wasn't sure if he was going to take it on because uh, obviously he was always going to be leaving a red on as Mark King treats us to another little uh, facial expression there. Oh. Yeah, gutsy shot, that yellow. Pinched a bit of the pocket there, hit it into the thin side. He left the pocket to try and get the cue ball across further. Oh. I really didn't think he'd miss that. He looked a little indecisive, but Ronnie O'Sullivan. I've seen Ronnie do that before and still get the pot. Not costly immediately, but could be after this shot for O'Sullivan. He's horrible. Not even playing here. It's a very difficult shot to play. It's hard to think that he wouldn't leave. Some players, it seems, whatever happens, remain poker-faced, but Mark King is not one of them. Winning in Belfast earlier in the season, and maybe it's changed his outlook, because right now he doesn't appear to be playing with any anything but freedom. Ever so well. What do we do here? He plays in behind the, the black rather than pots it to the middle bag. Yeah, Mark he plays it exceptionally well, also. That's a fine touch, but this shot, what a. Probably the best I've seen today, anyhow. Well, again, he's got to try and get this cue ball oh, safe. And, miss. and that could be calamity for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Cue ball in the D. Well, Mark King is 19 in front with his chance to force a decider. One. Oh, Sullivan, he had his chance here. He missed that red to the right corner unexpectedly. So, Six. the former champion just starting to sweat a little. 25 minutes, so it's red colour red. And we should be going the distance. Seven. Red is frame ball. Twelve. Mark King has fought back very strongly. There was a chance here. This was an unexpected miss, you've got to say, O'Sullivan. Sixteen. With his chance there to win five three. Yeah, looking at that shot again, I think he was probably trying to hit it, pot it thick, as straight as he could, so that he could get back for the black. If he hits it into the other side of the pocket, then he, he gets low on the black, but it's all history now. Marking 18. 37 in it, so it's uh, three snookers to tie, four to win. Maybe that he's actually going to have a go for this red. There's a lot of pressure on this shot. It's a fine shot, it really is. Hard to see how he could have played it any better One. than that. Goodness me, what a shot under pressure. see how he can continue the break now. Marking yeah, I go back to what I said. It's a different psychology, isn't it? If you compare it to a sort of running race, you know, if you're chasing the guy in front of you, you know how fast you've got to run to catch him up. But if you hit the front, then suddenly you're conscious of him being on your shoulder. Ooh, how costly is that going to be? Well, no easy starter, Dave, I think. Um, it's the rest shot to start with, and we've seen one or two of these miss from O'Sullivan. Man, 
have just a slight angle, but by no means easy to pot and get onto a colour. It was a brilliant shot, One. but again, not perfectly on the colour. away from his spot as I was saying made that even worse because he would have just rolled it in and finished short probably the blue as he's done thousands of times during his career that was an absolute mile away it really was and I must say not played with the usual conviction that you'd expect from Roddy O'Sullivan he played it with a little bit of fear it seemed One. Well, certainly the red that's up to the table on the right there comes into play. If he's not careful on this shot, he could hit it playing safe. He's avoided that happening. That's a good shot from O'Sullivan. OK, there is a red attempter to the left corner. But that is not a, the kind of shot Mark King really wants to play at this point. a serious mistake. It has been left with the thing easy. I've been a little fortunate actually. But amazing that you can be left with something so awkward as this. I think he's probably going to end up playing the red to the left corner. Because everything else is very easy, but he's under pressure with the red up the table that he'll leave if he misses. I think Mark got a bit fortunate to have left that sense the pressure that what he was under yeah absolutely king was fortunate but o'sullivan is feeling it that's for sure one well, that is not a good shot either he may be on the pink but goodness the pressure really is on for this shot this is a missable one now it's very tense Again, you know, they shot on Ronnie, but it's awkward, this. Danke. Well, that was good fortune. Goodness me, that really was. I mean, he's missed this and he's left the pink. Hampering with Ronnie on the red. He's gone back to his chair for some reason. I don't know quite why that was. There is a red to the middle, which he has good sendable queuing on. But I think even someone as great as O'Sullivan with all those events, seven Masters, five Worlds, five UK Championships, is feeling this moment as much as any of those. Well, that's a starter. One. Yes, he's in. Now, what damage can the great Ronnie O'Sullivan do here? Well, it was extraordinary that he won the Masters given that against... Dan Wenbo. Seven. He had a black that he would probably pop nine out of ten to beat him. Six four. Right now Eight. it feels a little bit like that, doesn't it? That he's vulnerable here again today, and who knows? Maybe he'll go all the way again. Do you know what though? I think one of the differences is the dynamic with the players, because he's a big pal of Dan Wenbo. I'm not saying he doesn't like Mark King, but they're not 15. best friends, that's just a fact. And they both really want to win this. All the history between them over a couple of decades has come to the fore here this evening. No! Well, it certainly made it a spicy one for us neutrals. Uh, that's for sure. It's something that we've enjoyed. I've enjoyed this match. Developed into this last frame. It's, it's quite a tension. 
even in this five table setup and it was all because not so much of this shot which he did miss but the, the one before where he ended up there oh, that is just Ronnie O'Sullivan 22 uh, if you wondered about the tension in the match that's it off the black spot that is regulation incredible it really is One. Only really be a negative. If that's a factor here, then that could explain it. But anyway, it's in Mark King's hands now. Plenty of fans. Uh, it's quite late here, by the way. German time, it's 10 to 11, but uh, plenty of people still here wondering what's going to happen. Sullivan was beaten here. Uh, he can't really use any excuse because he was right in amongst them in this frame. And he, the pink on the black spot he missed was one of the easiest shots I think I've seen him miss under pressure. It was long to hear. But, uh, of course, it's really possible. 21. Two words, two colours. Mark King to get over the line from 4 1 down. <laughs> First time. King beat him was a decider, and the last time he beat him was a decider. Well, he's played it pretty well. 26. It's, uh, it's obviously a shot that could still be missed, but he can play it dead weight because he knows the cube is going to come out onto probably the pink, high value colour anyway. So it's all about if he gets the putting angle right, playing it slowly here. And it just drifted in and hit the knee and nothing. Marking 26. Look at that. We saw one or two pull in like that. I wanted to lose an arse, but there's no way Ronnie could pop that. Just the chance here that Ronnie could develop the black in playing the safety shot but he has to be careful the red doesn't go to the left corner <laughs> he's getting some applause but Mark King has got a shot to nothing red here which if it goes in probably wins him the match Off slightly on that shot, in that he was always going to finish safe, but it was still beautifully played. Yes, we said right at the start that Ronnie O'Sullivan was a different player to when they were playing their previous times, but the same is true of Mark King because he's a tournament winner now, and we've seen that confidence tonight. And this is a great comeback and a big upset. Ronnie O'Sullivan has just won his seventh Masters title at 4-1. He looked to certainty. But Mark King started to throw everything at him. Breaks a 93-77. He won the eighth frame. A very nervy decider. 17. O'Sullivan missed that pink off the black spot when he had a good chance to win. And it's Mark King who's going through to the last 16. That's a great comeback from Mark King here in Berlin. What a thriller on day one at the Temperdome.